how you doing? I'm Louis Gamino with Enviroscape LA. We're here at one of our projects in Southern California, and it's actually a, a koi pond that we're in the process of construction. So of course there's no water right now. There will be, however, and when it's all said and done, it'll probably hold about 1,500 gallons in there. Of course, we know that uh, a koi pond, a lot goes into it, a lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff, which is what we're talking about uh, this morning here. We just got done getting our plumbing set up here. It's a very intricate system. You really got to have all your ducts in a row, cover all your bases. There's uh, several things that go into constructing a koi pond that will give you years of operation in crystal clear water. Part of that is having a skimmer as well as a bottom drain. For our purposes here, we're using a biomechanical filter as well, which is basically a big pressure filter, as well as a UV to guarantee they're going to have that clear water. So if you take a look over here at the section, we have our uh, huge bio filter on that side over there where water's gonna be pumped through that. Once it's pumped through that, it will then go through a series of UVs here. And we have a plenty of Jandy valves so that when it comes time to replacing this bulb in here, we could isolate it so we could keep the koi pond running while changing our UV. Now that's gonna come in handy if you ever have to uh, switch out an entire UV unit things like that, you won't have to, you know, do alternate uh, way to keep your fish oxygenated. We also have an air diffuser here as well, which is going to help keep our water oxygenated as well, at the bottom of that koi pond. Uh, so this is kind of what it takes, the guts of how to get a koi pond up and running. Of course, you have your pump, air diffuser, biomechanical filtration, UV, plenty of jandy valves to direct water. We have three jets going on in the sky as well. And that bottom drain is going to get all that fish waste and it's going to pump it up here or we could then clean it out and we'll actually irrigate this series of fruit trees and vegetables with that fish waste water. So this is just a little peek into what goes on into making a, a good koi pond a great koi pond, which equals very low maintenance and years of enjoyment for the family. 